Hey you, yeah you, the one learning to code. Did you already start applying for tech jobs? If the answer is no, I'm gonna show you the five jobs you can apply to today, even before you finish the course or the bootcamp or the degree that you're working on. Job number one, IT help desk support specialist. As a help desk specialist, you would be providing technical support to clients, you would be responding to queries, isolating problems, troubleshooting issues, and implementing solutions both in the hardware and software areas of computers. Now, this job usually is an entry-level job that doesn't really require any previous experience. If you're looking at job postings for this category, let's say on LinkedIn or on Glassdoor or whatever, whichever platform you're using to look for jobs, Facebook, and you see that they require maybe two years of experience, apply anyways because a lot of these job descriptions is what the employer would like to have in a perfect world now last time i checked we do not live in a perfect world so just go ahead and apply anyways for this job even though most postings that i've seen they don't really require a computer science degree or anything like that it is a good idea that you do have some programming background and it is also a good idea that you're an effective communicator what do i mean by that you should be able to prove via your cv and via your interview that you're a person that would be good at customer service and working with other people. You're a person who's flexible, who's able to think about solutions on the spot to potential problems. And just in general, you should be able to show that you have, you know, you have good integrity, that if you get hired for this type of job, you would care about doing your job proficiently and professionally. There are some courses that you could take in order to increase the chances that you will get called back for an interview. Those courses are geared specifically towards people who want to build a career in uh, IT. So you have courses such as the CompTIA Plus, the CCNA. Google also offers a help desk support certificate that you could potentially take. A lot of these courses are pretty like basic, meaning if you already have some programming background, I would say most of the course is going to be pretty easy. I personally took the Google certificate and I completed it in about two weeks. Now I had just finished before that CS50, which is a very intense coding course by Harvard. And so for me, the Google course was fairly easy. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend it to you. I think that it would be a better idea maybe to go with a CompTIA Plus or a CCNA. I've noticed that that's those two seem to be like the industry standard. Having a certificate like this, even though it's not required, it would look good because it would show that you're like committed into the field and that you know you have some initiative. You're coming in try already trying to prepare yourself to do a good job. Now, looking at the Glassdoor estimate, this position brings in around fifty-five thousand dollars per year. The main thing I like about this job and the reason why it was the first type of job that I started applying to as soon as I finished CS50 is because I think it's a perfect first step in a field that really has a lot of growth potential. It's very common for people to start at the help desk level and then just make their way up past uh, the help desk more into like project management and even beyond to like DevOps, uh, CI, CD, which to me is like the ultimate goal professionally. And it is one of the higher paying jobs in the industry. All right, so job number two on the list is junior IT project manager. This is a type of job that you could also apply to even if you don't have any experience and specifically I'm referring to any experience in the IT field. So if this is actually like a second step in the ladder of IT jobs, usually a first step being help desk. But this second step, a lot of people get there without ever being in the help desk role. As an IT project manager, you would be in charge of overseeing the process of planning, executing, and delegating responsibilities around your organization's IT pursuits and goals. So whether that is implementing a new website for the company or implementing some kind of networking solution, or whether it's coordinating with outside suppliers that provide IT services for you. So you would also be in charge of like managing them. And a lot of companies, this job tends to be a bit of a hybrid between managing projects and doing actual help desk support for your colleagues, you know, usually the people at work within the company, whatever issues they may have, which are preventing them from doing their day-to-day -day tasks, you should prioritize applying for this position more than you would for help desk. The reason being is that this is like what I would call a level two position. So level one is help desk. And usually a lot of people start, they do a year or two on help desk and then they move up into project management. If you can start in project management, you're already ahead of the race, so to speak. If you start at a company as a junior project manager, after year two, it should be fairly straightforward for you to apply to another job somewhere else as a senior project manager. 
and the salary increase between one and the other is massive. Now, according to payscale.com, the average salary for an IT project manager is around $90,000 per year, a significant increase from help desk. Job number three, web editor, also known as CMS manager in some companies. As a web editor, you would be working directly under the web developer and your job would really be to do a lot of the content creation, content editing, maybe adding new web pages, managing the users of the website. Um, really a lot of a lot of tasks that would be more of assisting a development team, not so much building the actual infrastructure of the website. I think this is a great job to start in because you can learn a lot, especially if you're working with like a really good development team. So if the company maybe doesn't want to pay you a lot or doesn't want to pay you maybe what the industry standard is for this position, but they're willing to like super train you and they're willing to eventually put you in the development thing, this probably would be a much better learning experience than taking any other course online. I mean, you'll be learning hands-on. Now, when I first learned how to code, I actually worked as a in freelance making websites for people all alongside my videography business so I think making websites also is a great place to start to really sharpen your development skills even if you're just creating content even if you're doing other things that are not necessarily building now according to Glassdoor the average salary for a CMS manager is around $82,000 a year all right so following the lines of web development the next job that you need to apply to is junior web developer if again you're coming off of a course like cs50 i would recommend you also take their follow-up course which is strictly about web development if you're applying for a junior web developer you are going to be competing against a lot of candidates anything has to do with front end back end full stack these are in my opinion the most saturated fields in computer science. I would say many times more saturated than IT. That's why I spoke about IT first, because I think that your chances of getting hired in the IT field are actually higher than as a full stack. I really think that this is the dream job of most people. I like most people are getting into computer science. This is the job that they want to get to as soon as they finish their studies. And you know, I, I have to like agree with them. Like it is a job that offers a lot of growth potential. It's just a job that in my opinion, it's very hot in the market. I see a lot of positions on LinkedIn but then I also see a lot of applicants. So the, the, the applicant to available position ratio, honestly, might be even higher than in IT or other fields, but still it's worth considering as a junior web developer, you would be obviously in charge of developing the infrastructure for the company's website or whatever app they have. And as a junior, you would be learning probably from a very like good senior developers. I mean, from what I've seen local companies in my area, their senior developers are top notch. I mean, I've stalked some of these guys on LinkedIn and some of them claim to have been coding since age five. Now, I don't remember what I was doing at age five, but it was definitely not coding. So if you land a job at a company as a junior developer where, you know, the rest of the team is a bunch of A plus stars, you know, rock stars, and they really know they're coding. So you, you could learn a lot and that would be a great stepping stone for your next job. Obviously senior web developers, a position that pays a lot. And if you already have two or three years of experience as a junior, it's pretty much a given that you will be able to get a job in a senior position fairly easy, especially with a startup, especially with a company that has a lot of open positions. So I highly recommend it. The average salary for a junior web developer is around $70,000. This might be slightly lower than the other salaries we've spoken about in here, but I think that it's due to the market. It's not due to the amount of responsibility that a junior web developer has. I think it's a junior web developer, you probably have more responsibility than uh, other positions. The reason why this job doesn't pay as much as other positions is because there's so much competition. And for every web developer that gets hired, there's another three that are willing to do the job for cheaper. Now for our last job that you should be applying today, that would be data entry. I would recommend applying for data entry, especially for people who are just starting to code. It will test you to see if working in front of a computer for long hours is something that you can withstand and it's something that you want to do. It's not very easy to sit in front of a computer all day and code. So let's give you an easier task, data entry, and see if your body can take sitting on a desk for hours at a time. Now, data entry is a job that doesn't pay very well, but it's a great stepping stone to show that, yeah, I'm committed to show future employers that yes, I am capable of, of the work hours, of working with the team, all the things that come with working in tech that have don't necessarily have to do with the code, but have to do with all these other factors around it, which to a lot of companies 
these factors are more important than whatever code you know because a lot of these companies are aware that github exists and that anyone can just copy and paste code but you can't really teach people skills and this is the main skill that companies are looking for